as promised in one of my previous videos, I'm going to talk a little bit of uh, um, some items, hygiene items, some uh, a first aid kit and some other items for the Camino de Santiago. Many people are making me some questions, what do you take, so I decided to make this video and everything, is, I hope it's going to be clear. Some of the things are an option and some are a must. Uh, of course, you will say I need more than that, others will say I need less than that. This is what I take and this is what I need uh, respecting my personal um, experience in the Camino Santiago. So, options. So, I have this as an option. This is aftershave and this is a, a razor blade. Uh, some of the Caminos, uh, most of the Caminos I've done, I didn't use a razor blade. I just let my beard uh, grow. So, of course, I don't need aftershave. Another thing that could be an option is uh, using either shower gel or a soap uh, bar. Uh, I don't use shampoo or air conditioning or uh, foam or air foam or whatever other things. So I use the shower gel in the Camino or the or the soap bar uh, to wash my hair, to wash my body and sometimes to wash uh, some clothes. Um, so you can use these one or the other for uh, those uh, the, those goals. Other things that you're going to need, of course, is a deodorant, a toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss. Um, these are earplugs, so you can have a good rest in night. People snore, make noise in the morning uh, before they go out. So this is one of the things that you should consider taking, especially if you're going to to stay in a uh, and uh, refuge or albergue where you sleep with other together with other people in the same room. Other things that uh, so this would be the cleaning uh, necessary, uh, personal hygiene necessary. What you need. Here are some items that you might consider uh, using the Camino Santiago. This is some cordelette or some cable, and this will be useful to to put your uh, clothes uh, to dry, especially when the other lines are occupied, so you might need and take one with you. Um, uh, clips for your clothes. There are some safety pins as well uh, that you can use to repair the clothes, your equipment, even to put your clothes to dry uh, hanging from your backpack. So if there isn't uh, enough sun in the day before, while you're walking, you can hang your clothes uh, from your backpack. This is something that people do. Other thing that you can use is a lighter. And this will be also used as a repair item for, you know, nylon cable uh, of your uh, sport shoes or your backpack. Or some of your clothes also you might uh, want to use it to make some fire in in the alberga if there is no matches or whatever and even to sterilize a needle if you want to uh, pop up a blister this is a sewing kit with needles of course uh, this is to repair your clothes but also the needle can be used to burst uh, one of your, if you have a blister. So this is also useful. Uh, this is a nail file. And this is a knife, a multi-purpose knife. Uh, of course, what I use the most is the knife itself and the scissors. And that is a very useful item also to, to have in the Camino. What other things are you going to find here? So you have some uh, paper tissues, also useful. Sometimes you might find some uh, daily uh, a bathroom without toilet paper, so that that could be definitely <laughs> very useful. 
uh, other things. So this is more your uh, medical kit for the Camino. So here you have some dressing, you have some gauze, uh, plaster, Q-tips, uh, some strips, and this is one of probably most important items. This is uh, something called Compete and is like a second skin. Uh, very useful to protect your feet from blisters and also has um, uh, a healing uh, aid uh, within uh, the Compete. So I'm going to open for you to see. This is still so something like this. And it's kind of uh, thick. So it's really used like a second skin right, to prevent blisters. Other thing to prevent blisters that you should consider buying is a cream, an anti blisters cream. Uh, besides a very good uh, technical sock and of course a very good pair of shoes, you're going to need something like this. Uh, before you put your skins in the morning, uh, your socks in the morning, you should put a bit of uh, this cream on the on your feet to prevent blisters. This is something very very useful. Um, more things you can see here. This is uh, sweet almond oil. So after walking miles and miles, and after having a good hot shower, you might want to put some. Uh, oil, especially in your legs, especially in those parts of your legs that are more, um, you know, sensitive and uh, need a good a good massage. And this you can combine with uh, this is a, a it's called Tiger Balm. So it's a balm that uh, it's good for sore muscles and uh, pain in your muscles. You can go together. Other thing that you see here, this is a, a disinfectant. So for small cuts and bruises, you can use that. And this here is Arnica Montana. This is an homeopathic. Uh, um, some this is little little pills, and it's for pain, especially pain in the muscles, and if you need something to relax you before you go to sleep, so you can have that. There is no chemistry on it because, you know, it's uh, homeopathy. Other thing you can use, especially for those places that are um, um, exposed to, to rubbing and to, um, with the clothes like uh, and the armpits or the grind, so you can protect that skin with uh, lavanda essential oil. It has a very calming and uh, healing properties. There are some people that also use this to relax and put some drops on the sleeping bag in order to sleep well. So, uh, so as you can see, uh, simple, um, only a few uh, things the essential for me as you can see I'm not taking the the full uh, bottle of uh, shower gel so I bought small bottles where I can put just a, a little amount the enough the sufficient for what I'm going to use during the Camino um, do that put everything in small small containers and uh, uh, remember if you're going to take your backpack you you want to reduce weight and volume and that is very important simple and I would say uh, the enough and sufficient for me so if you're going to do the Camino Santiago consider uh, this items others that for you, you you really think you need but if you're going to take your backpack with you, uh, remember to consider the weight and the volume, okay? More things I want to say is the Camino Santiago is a wonderful experience and if you're thinking of doing it, go for it. I really, really 
recommend this life-changing experience to everyone. If you have any comments, if you would like to, to share, please feel free to do it. If you like the video, put your like down there. And um, if you have any questions, I'll make, uh, I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Okay, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, let's keep in touch. Big hug and buen camino. Thank you.